we want to roll in here. Are we rolling? up here. <laughs> can you come and get this up for me so we can see our comments because I can't get it up. Okay, today we are making jambalaya, <laughs> which is a, you know, a Louisiana, you know, dish famous came from New Orleans. Yeah. So we're making jambalaya. We're actually going to make two ways. We're going to make um, a healthy cauliflower rice way and then we're going to make traditional. So we're going to make two things there. We're also going to make lemon um, icebox pie, yes, which uh, Becky favorite. said is uh, her favorite thing, Louisiana. We're also going to make some praline ice cream topping yes. in honor of her dad, yes. who just passed away last week, and she will talk about her dad. So yeah. first we're going to get started so the chicken can get cooking here. So we have two recipes. She's going to make the healthy one with the cauliflower rice, and of course I'm going to make the more traditional jambalaya. So we're going to get started here. Um, get the pans on here and heat it up. Get started here. We're giving her the big mama pan Come on. today. I probably need to give I her a little bit. I got to slap your mama Cajun How seasoning funny. apron. Is this? I didn't have any Cajun seasoning, <laughs> so I just bought this at the store. It said, you know, Creole Cajun seasoning. Slap your mama, and Becky walks in with the apron on. So I just, this is from where we grew up, Bill Platt, Louisiana. So we, and so I walked in with the apron. She had the seasoning. We are ready to go. So I, I obviously, sauce. I bought the right seasoning. <laughs> Secret sauce, secret sauce. Yes. There's always secrets in kitchen cooking. <laughs> okay, so we got the pans getting going here. So we're gonna start and throw our sausage in here. We gotta go in there and throw our chicken in there and get the sausage in the chicken. We want the fat from the sausage to start um, yes. rendering up our chicken. So, whoops, yeah. And I put a little bit on here um, of the on the chicken when I chopped it up. Just stick them over right. there. Um, of the seasoning. So I marinated them a little bit in this Slap Your Mama <laughs> Cajun seasoning when I got the, the chicken started. Maybe that one. So you see I color coordinated today our, um, our uh, bowls. So I knew that Becky's got the blue bowls going yeah. in her and I've got the white bowls going in mine. <laughs> Besides we get started on the pies. Um, I have already blind baked. I'll show you here real quick. This so uh, we wait for our hands to get going here. Look at these pie shells. Yum yum yum. Oh my gosh! I started with these. So this is um, a cup and a half of graham crackers and a cup of almond meal um, in this, and with some butter and sugar and pressed them in and baked yes. them a little bit. So these are ready to go for our lemon icebox pie. I know they're like about recipes like this. They're easy to do um, gluten free because like you could buy the gluten free graham crackers and the almond meal and mix it and uh, then you have gluten free because the filling is going to be lemony um, and can be gluten free. Yes. So yeah. And it's funny growing up every Friday because it's Catholic over there we had sea fried seafood and lemon ice box pie every Friday so it's one of my favorite things to eat. Yum, uh -oh. yum, yum. They can't hear me? Lori can you hear us now? Hey Florence how are you? Hey. Rhonda? Hopefully you guys have us going now. Can you hear us now? I hope so. Anyway, sorry. So Friday night was fish night. Yeah, fish night and lemon ice yeah. box pie for dessert. Because you couldn't eat meat. Well, besides Okay. So maybe you have to speak up. Okay, well, we're going to have to make it up. Oh, you still can't hear us? Oh, we sound mute, mute, muted. Well... Uh, I don't know. We'll just speak up, I guess. We will speak up. <laughs> we'll talk loud. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Hey, Megan, how are you? Me Megan, I was just showing you, um, that showing Becky the uh, 
thing, the bucket of malt and salt oh that you sent me. <laughs> That's oh, cool. awesome. Um, I didn't want to introduce, I didn't think you were yet. Okay, so I did. I did? You just said my name. Okay, this is Becky. Okay, I'm going to tell you she is. Becky and her husband are pastors at the City Church, California, in Ventura. She's a respiratory therapist. She's the mother of three sons. She's the grandmother to four. And she's just amazing. She's a cancer survivor. She's yeah. just a, a, an amazing person. So I'm very happy to have her today with our Louisiana recipe. So yes. very exciting. Yes. So let me grab this one. Let's stir up our our pans of yumminess we have started here. And it's important that you cook sausage crisp on the edges. And that's the secret to good Cajun food is that you cook everything the right way and not too little or too much, so just, just browning it well. What was it like growing up in Louisiana? Oh, she was there, by the way, for the hurricane last week yes, with her father, and the town, the power went out. Yeah, we, um, so I went to visit my dad, and uh, the five, level five hurricane hits, and everybody around us lost power, but two houses, us and the neighbor, for four days. Thank God, because it was hot. Yeah, so we were very happy because my dad was in hospice and I was able to be there for him. And so this is in honor of him because he was a Cajun cook. He did that for a living. And he was a commercial fisherman, so he caught shrimp and crawfish and crabs. And so that's how I grew up with incredible Cajun food. So this is in honor of my dad. Well, and he's also an alligator hunter. Yes, alligator. every September was alligator season. So he caught alligators, watched him skin the alligators and cut up the meat. It was disgusting, but hey. That's where you got your fancy boots? Yeah. <laughs> Her alligator skin <laughs> boots? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, and he's a veteran. Yeah, he's a veteran, yeah. Mine was a veteran too. And there was a baby born in the in the family last week too before Lyle passed away. Yeah. And they named him after him, so it was really sweet. His real name's Gabriel. So very exciting. One life passed out of the family, but yes, a new life exactly. came right in. So yes. the circle of life. But I think it's incredible. She was there, and they had this huge storm coming to Louisiana, and all the power went out everywhere except their house. <laughs> so they had air conditioning, and they had you know what they yes, needed yeah. to take care of her dad. Yeah. It was just incredible. Yeah. It was amazing going, and um, all the things I asked God and prayed for happened. And so it was just a special time. My dad and I were close. I was the daddy's girl, still am. And so, you know, this I just loved one of my favorite things. Every, my dad cooked most meals in our house. And so, you know, I learned things from him, how to cook. And so it's things you got to carry on when your family teach you things. If we don't carry them on, no one else is, right? That's right. So, so we're going to carry on the Cajun tradition in yeah. a healthy way. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm always, you know, asking you guys for your family favorites and your recipes. Because if we don't pass them down, um, they won't get passed down. And, you know, everybody has their family favorite recipes for a reason. Because they were usually easy to make and everybody loved them. So yeah. we love the family favorites here. Yeah. It's funny, my kids like certain things I cook. Um, still, and so I think it's a comfort when you cook things that you grew up with, memories were made, and so uh, this is fun to, to be able to cook some things Cajun-wise that are healthy also. Yeah, it was funny, of course, <laughs> Becky sent me and said, hey, send me your family jambalaya recipe, she sent me this healthy one. I laughed, I'm like, of course she sent me a healthy one. <laughs> Of course, 
uh, Instagram and Facebook have my number because it came up on my, you know, curated ads. It came up and went by. It wasn't out yet. It was coming out, you know. And I'm like, well, shoot, they've got my number. <laughs> so it's incredible. So I bought one, and I sent one to my sister, and we have been comparing notes. But I actually haven't made anything out of it yet because it just came. Okay, this is just about done. Okay, so now we're going to start adding our veggies. Okay, oh, this looks so good. I have it, go ahead and it down. I have them really hot. Okay, so so far we've got the same thing in our pans here. We've got the andouille sausage and the chicken, and then she's going to start on hers and start adding her, veg, her vegetables, and I will start over here adding mine. So I'm going to start with the onion and get it in here. So see, I um, just want to show you the sausage, how it's browned. You have to brown the sausage, so, so that's important. Brown the sausage. <laughs> see how dark it is? Yeah. So you, that's where all the flavor is. I'll give that one to my magic hands. Yum, yum. <laughs> it's, it's very hot, magic hands. My magic secret hands back there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's got your onion. Oh, my onion. And here. And you got your recipe there on the power bowl or power bowl in here. So, so I've got kind of the celery, the onion. I've got, um, it called for green pepper, but I don't like green pepper. So here I have a uh, red and an orange pepper, and uh, I chopped them up, and she has half in hers, half of each, half orange, half red. I have half orange, half red in mine, too. So. One of the things thing growing, pepper. Cajun cooking, they, they always cook with the Trinity. We have the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They have onion, bell pepper, and celery. <laughs> Most Cajun dishes have onions, bell pepper, and celery. So we had just put the Trinity in of our food. So yeah. I'm going to put, um, I read so many jambalaya recipes like, like I do before I make something around here. I read a bunch of things and then decide what I think I want in, you know, mine. So a bunch of the red recipes had ham. So I have just a little bit of ham here. I threw it in mine. I'm going to throw some in hers and uh, brown that up a little bit too with our ham. Yum, yum. I know. This is yummy. So then and then what I do is add a little Cajun seasoning right now. Yep. So I do more seasonings. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of oregano. So I'll put my seasonings in so that she can do hers. Yes. Oh my gosh. So a teaspoon. This one is oregano. And of course, you always want to break it up in your hands a little bit. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, so you release the flavor and then... So how much do I need? Those are your savers. Okay. Let's oh, see. the teaspoon won't fit in the jar. I don't know who designed a jar that the teaspoon won't fit in, but they did. Oh, the so. garlic cloves. We need to add this. Okay, yep. Yeah. Garlic. There's the thyme. I'm getting it all over the place. That wasn't quite a teaspoon, so I will get a little more thyme in there. Okay. Oregano, thyme, oh, creole. I need my creole, baby. I put my garlic in, too. Get my garlic cloves going in. Okay, and I will, um, I'll post both of these recipes so you guys can see what we were working from here. Bay leaves, I'm going to throw a bay leaf in each of these. There's little ones. Be sure, to, there. be sure to let your vegetables cook enough so don't make them too crunchy. Don't make them crunchy so you make sure they're cooked enough. So we're going to get Keep going here. Oh, my Creole. I need some Creole in mine. So I'm going to get a teaspoon of this going. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> With or the cayenne pepper. Yep. Um, teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Okay. There you go. Okay. Got everything in there. The bay leaves, the Creole, thyme, oregano, tomatoes. Oh, the chicken broth. We're going to do that in here. Okay. So dried oregano. Yep. Yeah, the sausage. I uh, I looked up the history of jambalaya and the history of andouille sausage just to give you guys a tidbit. All it said about um, jambalaya at all was that it's the Spanish, you know, the, the, it's the Norman's version of paella. Because paella yeah. is, is similar, but they said that saffron, that's the main ingredient and flavor in paella, 
was hard to get and expensive in New Orleans. So yeah. between all the French influence and all the different cultures that ended up in New Orleans, this was kind of how jambalaya came yeah. to, to be. And then andouille sauce was like, well, what makes it andouille? And we just looked up a couple things and there was nothing. It just said andouille sausage is a, is a Louisiana sausage. Yeah. Like, do you know what makes it andouille? Well, it's just how they make it. There's different sausages and it's, the meat is actually chunkier than a normal sausage, so it's just a style. What's interesting about Cajun food is a mixture of African, Spanish, and French cooking. So, so if you go to Africa, you'll see similar dishes, Spain, same thing, paella. So it's a mixture of all these cultures, because that's what Cajun culture is. Yeah. Okay, so we're ready to add the next layer. Okay. So we need to stir in the drain, diced tomatoes and chicken broth. Okay. Stir in the dried tomatoes and chicken broth, so um, we need uh, drain. So I, drain. Just, I have to stick it in okay. there. I think we're going to be fine. I think the liquid's okay. And then the chicken broth, I have it going on over here. Oh, yummy. Well, there's two kind of um, Cajun uh, jambalayas. So it's red and brown, and this one has red, which is my favorite, which is the tomato makes it red, so it's really good. Oh, I lost okay. the sausage. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to eat that one. Yep, they're, jump, they're jumping out of the pan <laughs> here. Oh, it smells so good. Let me start all my seasoning in here. I get talking. Bailey Creole. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So I'm going to put three cups of um, chicken stock in mine. I'm going to put the rice in. I'm going to let the rice cook up a little. So I have two cups of long grain rice going on my side here. Okay, we need to add the chicken broth here. Okay. Um, half a cup. Okay, yep. Oh, the tomatoes. Now, mine called for two cans of Rotel. So I took the two cans. You guys know we are big fans of chunky things, chunky tomatoes in this family. So I put the two cans of Rotel in here and gave it a little whiz with the immersion blender. But this is two cans of Rotel. So I'm going to throw um, that in. Many people think Cajun foods always has to be hot. But actually, I don't really like it that spicy. And I think... Um, um, I think Emeril Lagasse made it famous, really hot. Cajun food is not extremely spicy. We add Tabasco and stuff to make it spicy, but it's not always really spicy. Yeah. Oh, this looks so yummy. I'm going to let my rice get a little flavor there. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Thanks for watching. Hey, Teresa. Mwah, mwah. Love you. Let's oh, see. yeah, my sister's talking... I can't see the the com the comments are scrolling up, but um, yeah, Megan, I'm telling you, I mean, I shouldn't have showed you. I could have gotten you one for Christmas <laughs> because Megan is another one, Cookie Monster like us, um, and it is a beautiful cookbook. So Julie made the first recipe out of it yesterday with those red velvet brownies. Um, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, they're talking amongst themselves. <laughs> Yeah, this looks so good. So quick. And easy. I mean, it's really a pretty a quick recipe when we get going here. So I'm going to add my liquid. Becky, your mom's on there. Hey, mama. Hey, Gloria. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. <laughs> I have your cute daughter on today. I'm so glad you're on. Your they should put me in a commercial for slap your mama. We should. <laughs> I, I'm going to hashtag slap your mama because Becky's got her apron on. We got that. And we got your mama. And my mama. dessert in honor of Lyle, Becky's dad. We have another thing on the docket here and ready to go when we get these jambalayas set up here. There you go. All right. Hey, Jen, how are you? Ooh. Okay. Of course, we, we riced our own cauliflower, <laughs> us and bird's eye. I mean, green giant. Green giant helped out. Now, shrimp is also a, a, a traditional thing to be in jambalaya, but yes. I'm not a huge shrimp fan, and I didn't want to put it in because it flavors the whole thing. 
And uh, Becky would have put it in the healthy yes, one. Yes, my but favorite. These are frozen, so yeah. uh, we may throw a few in after the show when we get them thawed out. But um, she uh, likes shrimp in hers, and if you like shrimp, go for it. Lindy loves shrimp. Lindy, are you on here? She loves shrimp. So I would have put shrimp in it if I was making it for her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh this gosh. is going to be so good. I know. Oh my gosh, look at this deliciousness. Another thing that I have never made is jambalaya till today with my Cajun queen here. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to pull this over because we are going to make the filling for our lemon icebox pie that I have pre-baked the crust. I used graham crackers and almond meal, which is just crushed almond. And uh, I'm gonna make the, the inside for this now. So in my mixer here, my Instagrammers. Hi, Instagrammers. Um, we've got Becky's Instagrammers too. Do we have yes. people on, on hello, Becky's too? Hello. Any comments you need to tell us on Instagram that we can't read? Okay. So let me switch recipes here, my little side here and we are going to make the filling oh my gosh yum we actually have the air conditioning on here today because it is going to be hot the lights are on it's very hot here okay we are whisk going to whisk together our egg yolks so i have well, I'm, I'm doubling the right recipe because we're making two pies because i'm sending one home yes for jude yes jude is you watching jude are you on we're, <laughs> we're sending you home a pie yes so to the, our eggs yolks, it's just the yolks, uh, eight of them, I'm going to put, I'm going to open that, oh, we're yeah. going to put two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Hi Jennifer! And Destiny! Oh my gosh, hey Erin! How are you girl? Hey Erin! Erin too? Erin, I need a massage, I've been talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can we get you booked? Yeah, can we get you booked? Since we're smoking over here. Come on, girl. Oh, help a poor girl out. Okay. Okay. This get is hard to open here. Technical yeah. difficulties trying to open the can. Yeah, no trips to emergency from recipe of the day. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay so this, this is going to turn in. off. Okay. That's it. So. Okay, so two cans of sweetened condensed milk are going in, not so gracefully, but I'm getting them in here. Okay, that's in. Yeah. And then, let's get that starting to whip here. Turn that on. So, hold on, I'm going to speak louder now. I got my mixer on. I got my mixer going here. And here's the lemon juice. We have a cup of lemon juice that we grew on the tree, and Becky just juiced them all from yeah. my hand. So, fresh lemons. And we'll get that mixed up here. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So, the sugar, we get that mixed up here. Come on. It's going the wrong way when I'm tasting it. <laughs> That sweetened condensed milk is so thick that I just oh, want to make so sure we didn't get it stuck on the bottom of the bowl. Okay. Get our sugar in there. And we're going to get our lemon zest. So we have a bunch of le uh, lemon zest here. Yummy. Always makes the pie. Yeah. If you're making key lime pie, same thing. Always, always, always use the zest because it just gives it so much flavor. Get that mixed in. And then. I've got a block here of softened cream cheese yeah. going in. Oops, I'm backwards here. I'm sure it's the right way on Instagram, but backwards when I'm standing here trying to turn this thing on. There you go. And then I'll get that mixed in. And then I have a special ingredient going in, some lemon cello. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit of lemon cello. Boy, do I have stories about lemon cello with my mom in Italy sitting on the balcony, drinking limoncello, and eating pizza, because that's what you do oh, in Italy. Yeah. Yeah. They make limoncello all over that region, around Naples and Positano, and uh, oh my gosh, yum, yum, yum. We uh, discovered limoncello on that trip many moons ago, <laughs> and uh, use it. it's a great thing to use as a 
uh, flavoring like I'm going to use it here. I'm just going to use two tablespoons. Um, but you can put it over ice cream as or put it into whipped cream. Oh, yeah, you yeah. probably need to cover that. Yeah. Now that we're. So I think I'm going to put two tablespoons of limoncello just for a little extra zippity doo dah in there. And because I happen to have some, because the bar is always stocked with lemon cello. Speaking of bar, I was going to make a hurricane cocktail in oh. honor of Louisiana and New Orleans. Um, but I have, have I have a story, like if you've been to Pat O'Brien's in New Orleans, oh, yeah. and I have a memory about hurricanes, and it wasn't one I wanted to remember again. <laughs> and when I read the recipe for what's actually in a hurricane cocktail, I uh, remembered why my adventure at Pat O'Brien's in New Orleans ended the way it did. <laughs> What I'm looking for here that I just like, how do you make a dessert without vanilla? But I guess we use the lemon cello instead. Okay, so while um, I'm going to get this into the pie crust, Becky is going to make a special thing in honor of her dad. Yes. We'll move this thing to the back and make room. In our, in our little pan here, we have, um, I have a tablespoon of, bu of butter that I started with in the pan, but she's going to finish yes. the this so she can make We're going to make a praline topping. In Louisiana, pralines, it's a Louisiana staple, and one of my favorite nuts is pecans. In fact, my neighbor had a pecan tree, so we would get pecans all the time, and there's this Every year, my friend for Christmas sends me a box of Cane's pecans, so it's oh. a great gift idea. Yeah, oh, they're so good. Like big mama big, ones. Big, big pecans, and you can get them dipped in chocolate. Lots of different ones, but it's it's from Louisiana, the best pecans. Yeah. So we're gonna make a praline topping because my dad and I loved eating our ice cream together, and so this you can pour over your ice cream, you can pour it over cheesecake. Uh, cakes, any kind of thing. So it's an easy topping to add for desserts. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I started here with a tablespoon of, bu of, bu of bu butter over there. Okay. We have um, three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk. She's going to put in there with a cup and a quarter of brown sugar going in. And she's going to get that all mixed and melted here. I'll give her a utensil for that job. Okay. While she gets that going there. And then I will get going on these pie crusts here. I, uh, just trying to get my softened cream cheese whipped into this. So this is going in. Oh my gosh, let me taste this first though. I think, hold on a second, I'm sticking my finger in. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what, what? Oh, I'm blocking Becky. Oh. Hello. Get out of the way here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So here are our blind baked pie crusts. So I baked these um, while I was waiting for you guys. And again, like they're, like I said, they're graham cracker crust and almond meal with some butter. And I, I used this Turbino raw sugar in the raw Instagrammers because you can't see my side view here. So I'm just going to pour these in here and then we're going to bake them. And they come out. Of course, I have real whipped cream. To whipped cream is so easy to make. I it, always like, make. It's the best way to do it. I don't know who invented Cool Whip, but no, Cool Whip terrible. does not live in this house ever. Yeah. If there's any recipe that calls for Cool Whip, I do not buy it. I do not use it. I make my own. <laughs> yeah, so so easy that's make. just how I roll. I don't know that Cool Whip stuff. Especially, I mean, read the ingredients. Yes. <laughs> What's in that stuff? Cool, what? Um, whipped cream just no has um, whipping cream. And vanilla, vanilla and a little bit of powdered sugar. sugar. That's mm -hmm. it. And it's really good. Depending on who I'm making it for, I like to make it with a little bit of Cointreau, which is orange flavored liqueur. Or in this case, I could make it with a little bit of lemon cello and make it a little lemon flavored. So, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful those are. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> just because the gym's closed, Jude thinks I'm not going to send one of these home for, <laughs> for them. Are you well, kidding I'll me? eat it if you do. I know. Look at how beautiful this pie is. Oh my gosh. Delish. And uh, we're going to bake those up for, let's see how long, I'll tell you how long. They get baked for, uh, at 325 for 15 to 20 minutes, then we'll pull it out and let them cool completely to room temperature before we put them in, it, uh, in the fridge so they don't crack on top, because you don't want the cracks on top. Yeah. So that's where we're going. Then how's our... Going good. Oh my gosh. So that is uh, the brown sugar, evaporated milk, a little bit of butter, and the pecans. 
and that's it. And she's making this yummy uh, uh, ice cream uh, topping. So delish. So well, it has been a New Orleans, yeah. Louisiana yeah. My, day. My favorite ice cream is called Bluebell in Louisiana. I wish we had it here. I'm gonna have to get it here, but it's the best ice cream besides McConnell's, of course. But oh, you can McConnell's. use your McConnell's ice cream, but get a good ice cream. Don't ever eat bad ice cream. That's yeah. the number one rule. Yeah, if you're gonna eat uh, uh, ice cream, you gotta go all the way and get and get the good stuff for sure. Hey Jill, how are you? Hey Allison, how are you, girl? And Erica? All our girls are on and my yeah. Instagrammers. Hi, Instagrammers too. So oh, let me, yeah, I want to taste this um, creation she's got yeah. going back, back there of her um, praline topping that she made. But yeah. you want to taste that too? Oh, no, see it does really good, yeah. She's going to taste her healthy cauliflower rice jambalaya. And mine is cooking Ooh, up here. So good. So the rice can cook. Oh yeah. my God. She's so tasting her, her chicken. I forgot the chicken. I'm going to eat the chicken part. I'm going to taste um, so easy. the praline topping. Oh my gosh, yum. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, delish. Wow, is that e easy? Yeah, so easy. Now, here, we weren't going to make anything fried for today, but yeah. we got the pralines and the pie and the jambalaya, and it's a party here tonight. Yes. Um, without the hurricanes, but I'm sure we can figure so, uh, so, uh, something out. So, mmm. So yum. Oh, wow, Birthday fun. shout outs. Yes. Today. Let me see. Um. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh, so good. good. So oh, good. We have a whole bunch. So I didn't write the, these down today. I needed to, but we were busy with our pie crust. Mitchell, uh, let's Mitchell. see. Birthday shout outs today. Sorry for the birthday shout okay. out. Birthday shout out. Mitch Connolly, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mitch. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> My head's kind of big for this. I know, it's, it's Rex's from Legoland, but it's COVID, and it's the only hat I could find around the house when we started in March. Oh, by the way, today I think is episode 73, I think it is. Um, it's also Craig Stanford's birthday. It is John Clausen's birthday, who is our regional manager at Berkshire Hathaway. Happy birthday to you. And it is Claire Clark's birthday who worked with us at Berkshire Hathaway Relocation for years at corporate in San Diego. So happy birthday to you. And yesterday was Rachel Elder's birthday. So it is a big Happy birthday, Labor Day. Rachel. I love you. I saw you in Santa Barbara celebrating. I know. Well. Happy birthday to you. And I think lots of people have Labor Day, get it, Labor Day birthdays, which is this weekend. So those are our birthday shout outs for today. And then um, we have our giveaway today. If you have liked or commented on these videos, and um, you are in my pool here, and this is our giveaway for today because it is time to always remember that, you know, this too shall pass. Yes. And the best is yet to come. Yes. Because that's just how we roll. And I have a, re a vertical and a long one, yeah. mostly because they didn't have two that were the same. But this <laughs> is our giveaway for today um, with my dear, dear friend, Becky. And we are going to draw here. So, okay, you see. like or comment, you are in the fish. Melissa Hipple. Melissa Hipple, winner, winner. Chicken the, dinner. The best is yet to come. Jambalaya dinner. Jambalaya. Gary Young. Gary Young. <laughs> That's You're a winner. I bet he had an extra in there for himself. I know, maybe he did, because he, he was a guest on the show. We made the <laughs> oh, post yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that is our show for today. Thank you for watching. You, I will put the recipes here. You'll find the recipes here on Facebook and on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. Please go there and subscribe. We're almost to a thousand, so we get to a thousand, we can broadcast on YouTube too. Yay. So thank you for visiting GaryandLisa.com for all your real estate needs in Ventura County. We the love best to see you. real estate agents. Oh, we use them. Amazing. I also sold in their house. Forgot yes. that. She's also a client, but yeah. it was so long ago. It was so long ago. We're friends. So see, if, you're, if I sell you a house, you're going to end up being my yes, friend. Yes, so. the best friend in the world. The best. <laughs> so thank you for watching. We love having you guys here. It's so much fun, and we will see you back. I have another special guest on the docket for Wednesday lined up. So see us here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock. And thank you for watching. Don't slap your mama. <laughs>